Greetings to all listeners. It is my pleasure and honor to speak for GIA 2020. Our topic is dealing with challenges of non-sustainable development of our present and future world. The concept of growth and development so far has led to a number of negative effects on the environment, society and mankind. In this regard, numerous global and national measures and actions have been taken so far. Science, unlike politics, makes a significant contribution to the theory and practice of sustainable development. In this context, the contribution of economics is also significant. There are numerous manifestations of unsustainable development. In this paper, we will focus on some of them. The problem of global poverty and hunger, the problems of ecology, climate change and energy. Exploring this topic, we have consulted a number of sources of recent relevant literature. The basic hypothesis of the work is that there are great challenges for humanity and it is necessary to move from unsustainable development to sustainable development of economy and society. In this regard, at the end of the paper, a message was given instead of a conclusion, which indicates the necessity of change. We critically considered the concept of unsustainable development of economy and society and the many manifestations of such development, as well as the causes and consequences of this phenomenon. It is based on profitable economy with positive and negative effects, which is why the concept of sustainable development is formulated. Our paper specifically analyzes the indicators of some sustainable development, the problems of global poverty, problems of ecology, climate change, and energy. Most recent literature is consulted. Changes are needed in the direction of new development trajectory through new development paradigms. This requires a greater role for science, especially economic science. The new concept of economics implies new patterns of behaviors in terms of eco-business and green economy. A new development strategy is needed. Slide three, please. Sustainable development is essentially about improving quality of life in a way that can be sustained economically and environmentally. Over the long term, supported by the institutional structure of the country. For this reason, sustainable development addresses four major dimensions, social, economic, environmental, and institutional. The indicators are divided into three dim dimensions, social, economic, and environmental. Institutional questions are largely considered to be responses and not readily quantified as indicators. Slide four, please. Uh, our paper aims to point out the vital review of previous concepts of growth and development and new development paradigms. Uh, we especially analyze the indicators of unsustainable developments. As I also said, the problems of global poverty, the problems of ecology, climate change and energy as a kind of indicators of necessity to move from unsustainable development to sustainable development of economy <coughs> and society. On the other hand, we present new patterns of behavior in terms of eco-business and green economy. This path provides the possibilities and conditions for the development of the right tools for new development strategy, which is more than needed. Our results are conceived in three subsections. First subsection, <coughs> as you can see, provides an analytical overview of classical economic analysis through former concepts of growth and development. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Second subsection detects and asserts problems of unsustainable development and underlines the consequences of overall endangerment of natural environment. On sixth slide, we can see uh, our third subsection, uh, which is dedicated to the problem of global poverty and hunger. It also addresses that even impressive progress made by the emergence of development of capitalism since the 16th century, uh, some part of the world are still living in extreme poverty. Discussion contains the future challenges and factors by widening the perspective to problems of ecology, climate change and energy. 
This paper aims to contribute to the new concept of sustainable economics by clearer definition of green economy, green business strategies, and harmonization of measurement tools for sustainable development through eco indicators. Inspired for further exploration of the potential for economic advancement in the field of green economy, we not only have the hope, but to move in that direction. Seventh slide, please. This topic provides an analytical overview of numerous manifestations of unsustainable development, its, le its level of development ac uh, according to the world metrics and policies. It also addresses the factors for necessity to green the economy and let more influence of science to socio-economic development of future world. Specifically, the research was conducted by analyzing laws, strategies, and action plans, existing studies, etc. As we presented in this paper, these areas and themat uh, thematic guidelines have been selected in accordance with the overall research methodology, as well as with recent ongoing initiatives in the EU, Green Deal, and the Green Economy Policy in the EU. We note that this abundance of green economy conceptualizations, this circular or green economy bubble, uh, constitutes a serious challenge for scholars working on this topic. Next slide, please. Uh, growth and development are economic phenomena that have been studied since the time of classical economic analysis, embodied in the work of Adam Smith, David Ricardo, and Thomas Robert Malthus. Each of them, in their own way, studied this issue and have given their own view for the reasons for ups and downs of individual national economies. Next slide. Economic development is a complex process that expresses a series of successive changes in the socioeconomic structure of the society. They are not possible without changing the consciousness of a man as the most important factor of production. The complex includes uh, changes in the understanding of the economy, the relationship of nature, as well as the value system, as well as changes in the structure of the economy that would contribute to a different distribution of income and increase the standard of living of the population. Next slide, please. Uh, as noted uh, and warned by the respected French economist, François Peru, uh, economic development represents the dynamic of society in its essence and root, uh, which is why it not only means increasing production, but also changing and renewing <coughs> the society and its every agent. Sustainable development is precisely this qualitative determinant of the concept of economic development. And as former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said, the greatest challenge of our time is unsustainable development. The world we live is under pressure. Communities and families continue to be plagued by poverty. Climate change threatens existence and conflicts int intensify. Unless we change the direction we are headed, those crises will only get worse. Corporate irresponsibility is particularly worrying when it comes to protect, uh, protecting the environment, uh, environment from industrial pollution. In the second half of the 20th century, as you can see, economic science was dominated by the following division of developmental theories, neoclassical, neo-Keynesian, radically Marxist theory, and structural imbalance theory. More recently, macroeconomic theory has encountered many other divisions, takeoff theories, stagnation theories, and balanced development theories. And in addition, there is a division into short-term and long-term theories of economic growth. The divisions do not end here. There are the expression of different economic schools and opinions whose bear bearers are some of great economists. In each of these and other theories, which needed to be carefully monitored and analyzed, a certain contribution is made to the study of the extremely complex problem of economic growth and development. What is dominant in the development of economic theory so far 
is a different attitude of individual schools towards the role of two key institutions, on one hand, society market, on the other hand, the state. This is the quote from the book from Professor Pejanovic, Development Problems of Economy and Society. Next slide, please. The consequence of overall endorsement of the environment, natural environment and resources, are endorsement of the quality of life, human species and life in general. Problems of external effects, economic consequences of economic activity on the environment have been recognized by economic theory in the last century. At uh, Rio 20 Summit, a network for sustainable development was formed headed by Council of Leaders and a group of distinguished champions from the world of science, business, civil society, and politics from around the world. This network has proposed 10 sustainable development goals, description of all goals in particular, you can see in the proceedings of the conference of GIA 2020. And the purpose of all these goals is to direct the world in a clear, concrete, measurable, concise, understandable way to help it move from increasingly dangerous profit at all costs. This is a quote from Noam Chomsky. And um, it is up to the world governments in accordance with the man mandate given at the Rio 20 summit to select new sustainable development goals and establish operational ag agendas for their implementation which has not been done yet. Next slide, please. A well-known American economist, Jeffrey Sachs, in his study book, The Age of Sustainable Development, warns of the problem of increasing poverty in a world of abundance. Despite the impressive progress made by emergence and development of capitalism, some parts of the world are still living in extreme poverty. It has often happened that there is no school near to the place of residence or that there are no qualified teachers or that the tuition is high, higher than the household income. This is the world that we live in. Next slide, please. Uh, two factors play a key role in increasing the number of hungry people, according to uh, Arthur Peterson of the UN World Food Program, and one, is climate change and the other is increasing the number of armed conflicts around the world. Since the beginning of 1990s, weather disasters have doubled. There are huge losses in harvest due to flooding, soil erosion and storm. Higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere leads to a decrease in micronutrients in the crops, too little protein, zinc or iron. We risk running into a climate of upper head where the rich can afford the escape from global warming, hunger and conflict, while the rest of the population has to suffer from the climate change. Next slide, please. In addition to poverty as a consequence of historical and present distribution of the process of capital expansions, environmental threats are also a major problem. Today, the annual world output is about 100 times larger than it was at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. When it comes to individual di dimensions of economic activity, it is even 1,000 times larger. That kind of enormous growth has caused, and it is still causing, the great damage to our planet. The enormous economic activity is changing the climate, the weather cycles, and even the chemical compositions of the ocean. Due to global warming, warming, which has caused ocean levels to rise around the world, ocean levels along the EU, EU, uh, US East Coast, for example, have increased by about 30 centimeters uh, from 2012. This higher level of oceans greatly enhanced the effect of the floods associated with the occurrence of superstorms. An important aspect of sustainable development is also problem of energy, energy sources, which, however, have been crucial for global and economic development for more than two century, centuries today, given the carbon dioxide they are emitting and clearly endangering our planet. 
hope is provided, as you can see at the next slide, some hope is provided at Paris Conference on Climate Change held in 2015. And the goal of the conference is to reduce by 2050 the presence of greenhouse gases between 40 and 70 percent. The conference aims at the comprehensive agreement that would oblige all countries in the world to gradually engage in the energy transition process, which is necessary to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. A new climate agreement has adopted that forms the basis for the long-term efforts of the states' parties to combat climate change. Unfortunately, the U.S. is abandoning this agreement, which will have negative consequences for its implementations. On the next slide, we can see that the challenges of unsustainable development are large and require a greater role for science. We stand of a conclusion. We can see that economics is a science and a profession that has played and plays a huge role in the development of the productive forces of society. Therefore, she's not accidentally awarded the 1968 Nobel Prize for contribution to development. The economy, however, it is also responsible for unsustainable growth and development so far. Economy has given birth to Homo economicus, who is his uncontrolled greed and race for profit has led to the relentless use of natural capital culminating in, de in devastating climate change. It then led to unbearable inequalities in society, problems of co social poverty, hunger, illness, and many other problems that left worrying consequences. Science as a global culture needs to get a better place and more important role in the future. Changes in the world are fast and big. They are difficult to grasp and understand. So many scientific studies are now being done collaboratively, multidisciplinarily, and globally. That is why economic science is also set <clears throat> as an imperative. The necessity of realizing the concepts of sustainable development. Economic science has already taken on this historical task. Through the concept of so-called the new economy is increasingly striving to achieve this goal. This is evidenced by the Nobel Prize in Economics in 2019. The three authors who have studied this, this problem of global poverty, an important aspect of unsustainable growth and development so far. In the next slide, <clears throat> we see the gap in the world as it is and it could uh, it, and, and it, <laughs> it could be is bigger than even before. Overcoming this gap presupposes a redistribution of wealth, health threatened by social unrest, uncertainty are at stake. The economic crisis is multiple. The new ecosystem is changing. The biosphere, flora, and fauna are threatened. In addition, the population is increasing dramatically. 7.6 billion people live on the earth now, and it is estimated to 9.7 billion people in 2050. This is the word, those uh, were the words of uh, Martin Rees, philosopher, from his book about the future. And the next slide. Uh, is the like circle from our conclusions. And uh, we can see that the key issue of further socioeconomic development is therefore the questions of a new concept of economics, of new patterns whose competitive advantages are based on sustainable development, free market, rule of law, knowledge, innovation, information, entrepreneurship, and creativity. First of all, it is about so-called green business, the concept of circular economy that is consistent with the need for sustainable development. In addition to profit-oriented activities, it is also involved with caring for natural environment and the community. The emphasis of eco-business should be put on environmental protection so that the negative impact would be minimized. 
In this context, the European Union has urgently adopted the European Green Deal, which envisages investing around a thousand billion euros in climate protection measures by 2030. Unfortunately, Serbia is significantly behind in terms of allocation, but also in terms of measures and actions. The green economy is one of the most promising global development concepts, reducing environmental risks, which further has a positive impact on air, water, and land. And when it is con and it is connected with the natural beauties of Serbia and its tourism of agrarian potentials, and it is multiple gain even economically. The green economy is best reflected in the concept of organic, of integral agriculture, which suppresses and so far prevalent concept of industrial, intensive, conventional agriculture, and for which Serbia has enormous potential. Thank you for your interest on this topic.